It's that time again, food prep Sunday. Getting ready for the week ahead, preparing. And maybe you're similar to me and you have kids sports events to go to today. So let's see if we can hammer this food prep out in under 45 minutes. All right, these Alaska salmon burgers are a little bit frozen. So this is just one little way I like to defrost things more quickly is just throw a little bit of warm water in on them. And while that's getting started, I'm gonna sneak on over here, get this ready to do some cooking and get this ready to do some cooking. And I'm gonna slice up the vegetables, throw some butter in there and get rolling. Got these beautiful peppers here, water over there. I got the small ones today because I believe they cook up a little bit more quickly than the bigger ones and they're already bite-sized, so a few less cuts to make. Peppers cut up, salmon burgers, defrosted, ready to go. Puppies waiting in the wings. All right, I got some grass-fed butter here from the Costco. Also, salmon burgers are from the Costco. Produce is from the Costco. I am rushing through today's food prep video because I got places to go, things to do, and people to see, just like you. So I am going to keep moving and grooving. I'm gonna throw the peppers in here, I'm gonna throw the salmon patties in there, and then I'll see if I can get it all together in under this 45 minute time frame. Why these salmon patties? 20 grams of protein, gluten free. They got some great omegas in there, and you can see it's defrosted now. The other nice thing about this is I've made burgers in the past to watch videos of, and those are fun. I like to do that. These ones are already ready to rock and roll. And they've got exactly how much protein in them. And so I'm just able to throw them in here. I'm gonna need two patties per meal, since I love to have 40 grams of protein roughly in each meal. And two of those times 20 is 40. We got the cast iron skillet here. Throwing the peppers in there. Parallel tapping. My nice efforts. Come on, baby. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. There you go. Oh, the pups are so excited. Pups, are you excited? Excited about some food prep? All right, got those cooking there. Got this here so I can put them out here to cool down while I do the other ones. And I learned a tip and trick about cooking stuff. Try to move it less so that it can have consistent heat across it while it's cooking. Gonna throw a little bit of the granulated garlic in here with the peppers as well. Might as well throw a little bit of the salmon while I'm at it. And then add in a little bit of crushed red pepper. Just for a little flavor, a little kick. And those ones look like they're about to be ready to rock and roll. And I'll take them off and put the next ones up. Round two of the burger patties. Here we go. Let's get it. Peppers are looking delicious and nutritious. Also wanted to talk about, just as a reminder, the colors of the rainbow and how incredible it is to eat with all of those colors. Right here, right now. All right, it's time to flippity flop. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. Love cooking with butter. Gives me a little like the fat. Gives me a little like flavor and it's delicious. Just browns everything up like that. Peppers are starting to look yummy and I was noticing, hey Joe, the colors of the rainbow. Boy, you did. Red, orange, yellow, green. Just like that. Just like that. And there's a little bit of indigo in the roots there and the chard. And I'll get some violet my green juice, violet, blue, blue, violet, because I got all my green juice stuff right here. All right, let me just make sure this one is the way that I want it to be. It certainly is. I'm just gonna bring it over here and stack it nicely. So 20 and 20 is now 40 grams of protein. That's for me. Um, for a lot of my friends who are lady friends, they usually could benefit from about 20 to 25 grams of protein. So 
so one of these would suffice with maybe a little um, extra protein from some of the nutritional yeast we sometimes use, or maybe some bacon, or any of the other sources of protein that exist. Oh yeah. And the spinach and chard and kale is working up nicely. It's amazing, it looks like I put so much in there. And then it gets melted down like that. I'm gonna throw a little bit more in there. And got some feedback on a video I did the other day about my poop talking. And it was suggested to me that I talk less about poop. But I think poop is super important to talk about. So I'm gonna keep talking about poop. I might even talk a little bit more about poop because pooping is so important to the vitality of the wealth of health of my life. And by just adding these handfuls of spinach to my meal, I am empowering myself with all of this fiber. I just read a really good book by the Glucose Goddess that talks about just adding a little green to everything as you eat makes a huge life long impact. So I'm gonna keep talking about poop and I'm gonna keep eating green things. All right, I am currently at 33 minutes of preparatory time. My goal is to be 45 minutes. It's gonna be a close call. I need to leave here in a few minutes to be able to get to a softball game. That's 45 minutes away. So let's see, it's gonna be a photo finish. Right, Pops? Whoops, right, right. Yeah, good boys, good boys. All right, just so I'm getting things ready while the food continues to cook. I'm gonna set out all my food prep dishes here. Fun little side note, I know that the lids to these are made of plastic. However, I find a lot of value in eating out of glass for just being mindful of my body to another degree. All right, while these ones are finishing off, I'm going to very mindfully take these over above these wild crazy foofs and get these ones ready to rock and roll into the food prep dishes. Give them a little opportunity to have the ability to cool down. Oh yeah, got that, got that. And then I'm just gonna take some of this deliciousness. Oh, it's a little hot, it's a little hot, caliente. Come get my proper tools to use and get these ones ready to rock and roll. Looking good. All the colors of the rainbow. And again, a burger with a bun usually has an extra 250 calories. And those 250 calories spike the blood sugar. So by utilizing this naked concept, I'm saving 250 calories and I'm honoring my blood sugar at a little bit higher level, which turns out it's pretty important. And the puppy friends have been so good. And there's nothing dropped on the floor. Stay pups, stay, stay pups. Hey, stay, stay, stay. All right, everybody join me on the count of three. Hey, 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 because three sounds a lot like free. Yeah, one, two, three, free. Enjoy them, pups. Enjoy them. All right, those ones look ready to roll. Let's do this. So, ran a little short on the green. Throw a little bit more in there while I finish up here. You can see those ones missed out on a little bit of green action. And then got some feta cheese here to go with them. Looks like I'm gonna have to open this up before I dump it on. And as always, got my cados here because I do love me some avocados and it's just such a good healthy fat to go with the rest of my meal deal. All right, it's a photo finish right at 45 minutes. I just did some calculation. Each one of these two burgers is about $6 for both of the burgers, $18 and change at the Costco. I already had the olive oil, I already had the balsamic vinegar, so just call that a dollar dressing a dollar per avocado. So eight meals, 40 plus grams of protein, carbs are moderate and fat is high. 
I'm pretty excited about this meal and I'm even more excited I was able to get it in done in time so I can easily make it to Layla Love's softball game to support her and show her how much I love her.